Hello, welcome to watch this video. I'm making this video for LED sign, LED video wall beginners to learn how to use Nova Star Control software to configure your LED sign, LED video wall, and how to play video and image on your LED sign and LED video wall. Alright, this is the screen we're using to make this video tutorial. First, let's take a look at the connection diagram. The signal goes from center card and desktop PC to all receiver cards and all LED video wall panels. If you still don't know how to connect your LED video wall, center card, and your computer, you can visit my blogger, Facebook, and my Google Plus to read my post, brief intro of the LED display control system, and learn how LED video wall exactly works. Alright, let's keep going with the software part. I've already installed Nova Start Control Software, Nova LCT Mars, and Nova Studio on my computer. If you still don't have these softwares installed, you can contact me via email or Skype. Now we double click the shortcut of Nova LCT Mars on desktop to run the program. This is the main interface of configuration software Nova LCD Mars. We need to log in advanced user to enable advanced menu. Click user option and choose advanced login and drop down menu. Key in 666666 and click login. You can see a number 1 at control system and all icons of devices at the monitor info. This means center card and computer are successfully connected and center card is identified by computer. We click the icon screen config to continue the configuration. It automatically identifies the serial port, so we directly click next button. At the setting board tab, the only option you need to configure is the resolution of setting board. It is supposed to be the same as the resolution of graphic card's output. So we click this resolution button and find it in the drop down options and click the set button then we go to the scan board tab. This is where we configure each LED sign panel and make them normally show image. Before we do any configuration here let's go check the specification of this LED sign panel. For this configuration, what you need to know is only the resolution of the LED sign panel. The pixels at width and height of this panel are respectively 80 and 160. You can directly count the pixels at width and height of your sign panel if you don't know. Or ask your supplier to get this information. Then we go back to the scan board configuration. You can see the parameters here. Pixel width is 80, pixel height is 160, refresh rate is 2880, and all other parameters are already set. So each LED sign panel is showing normal image duplicated from computer. But what if the LED sign panel is not successfully configured or incorrectly configured? Let's try to load an incorrect configuration file which didn't fit this LED sign panel and see how it goes. Click load file button and find the RCFG files recognized by software. These RCFG files are configuration files which define how a LED sign panel show image. We choose this P4.8 RCFG file and click open button. Now all of the parameters become different values. Pixel width and pixel height both become 128. Let's try to send this incorrect configuration file to all LED sign panels. Click send to HW button and see what happens. You can see the image on all panels are disordered. It's caused by incorrect configuration file. For end users convenience, suppliers usually provide correct configuration file stored in the CD. Now we load the correct configuration file to all panels. Click load file button and choose 6.25 RCFG file. All parameters return to previous values. Click send to HW button and the image of each panel will return to normal. Nova has a practical function, retrieving RCFG. Later if you want to try, you can click the read from HW button and experience it. Now we go to screen connection tab to continue the configuration. You can experience simple screen mode and a complex screen mode later, but this time I only demonstrate the most commonly used most standard screen. 
Let's go back to the connection diagram to see the panel matrix of this screen. It's 16 panels of width and 3 panels of height. In the basic information section, we'll let it remain x at 0 and y at 0. It defines the location of duplicated part of image on your computer's monitor. Then we key in 16 as scan board columns and 3 as scan board rows. Click reset all button and this is just a panel matrix to this screen. Then modify the panel resolution and scan board size section, width 80, height 160. Now what we need to do is to locate first the LED sign panel that connected with sending board in your computer. You can see the first the LED sign panels at the bottom right corner. The signal goes through all panels along the red line, but the panel matrix in configuration software mirrors the front image display side. Now the first panel is apparently at the left bottom corner, and signal goes through all panels along this red line now. We go back to screen connection. As it mirrors the front side of LED screen, the first panel is located at left the bottom corner, and we click it. All information of this panel just varies immediately as configured. Then we click or use direction pads of keyboard to move to the second panel that the signal goes to, and keep moving on to the end of the whole panel loop. Now we finish the loop in all panels. Click send to HW button and it finally join into an entire image. You can click save button if you don't want to configure it again when next time you power it on. The configuration part is done. Now I'm gonna show you how to use Nova Studio to play full screen video or image. Double click the shortcut of Nova Studio on desktop to run this program. This pop down window is media playing window, and the other pop down window is editing window. First, click settings and choose display setting in the drop down menu. Now we are defining the location and resolution of the media playing window. Start X and start Y both remain zero like what we said in screen connection. Width and height should be the same as the screen, 1280 and 480. Then we click OK and load the video file. Click this icon and choose File in Add Media menu. Now you can open whatever video you want to show on the LED screen. A really important tip about Nova Studio is don't use Nova Studio on a computer that has a codex installed. It will delete your codex when it starts. Ok, thank you for the time you spent on watching this video. Some steps were skipped because this is just a simple beginner tutorial. You can contact me by any means if you have trouble while operating these two softwares. Thanks again and bye!